Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. We're standing in a 2023 Numar 4065 and we're also going to compare this to the 4509. Now what's so fun about this is this is very much like the RV I own myself. So I can't wait to show you around. As usual, Jody, I'd like to start from the inside out. So please go ahead and take her on back. Uh, first of all, thanks so much for joining us today on this beautiful Monday morning here in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, we are coming to you live on Facebook. You can always find us at TTTRV on YouTube and you can find me at RVs Inside Out on YouTube as well. Now, as usual, I love to start my RV videos from the inside out because if I don't like the way it looks on the inside, I don't care about what's underneath. So as we start today's video, let me tell you why I chose this vehicle. First and foremost, I love this setup, this beautiful king size bed, the mirrored backsplash, backsplash, <laughs> the mirrored headboard uh, with a nice insert. Um, I love the Fendi decor. Now I have the Bermuda glazed maple. This is Newport glazed maple. Um, but as you can see, it's super easy to take care of. Very, very beautiful and ornate uh, finish. Uh, this is the high gloss finish for the Newport glazed maple, which is newly available. And this has got a ton of storage space up top. There's also two one outlets. And then I can run my computer cord all the way down through here for my iPad and keep it charged. And then I have it, I can keep it next to my bed. And then when I'm ready to use it, it's ready to go and it's already uh, plugged in. And then of course I can plug it and take it on the go. So really nice for us. Um, now, why am I using my iPad? Well, I'm using my iPad because we've got this wonderful 4K smart TV. Uh, in this bedroom, we've got a 50 inch uh, in the front room and everything runs off of my iPad. So I can mirror everything to this Samsung television and I don't actually have any satellite receivers on the top of my RV. I'm running a cradle point system. Um, so I really like that aspect of it. Another great feature, of course, is that I've got a nice little nightstand here to keep my uh, bottle of water and then a place to charge my phone. I've got two USB ports and a 110 outlet. And then when I store those, I just put them underneath while I'm in travel. So I know right where they are when I arrive. So these are just all little features that mean a lot to me. Uh, this is the Colfax decor. You can tell by the pillow. Uh, it's a nice gray interior and it's really, really um, actually a great color combination for me. Now I did sub out the mattress, or not the mattress, the, uh, the comforter and the pillows and put something that's just all white. Uh, I just like bleaching stuff. It's my favorite thing to do. Uh, but this is actually a beautiful decor that I could certainly live with. Uh, the underbed storage for us has been priceless. We keep bins here underneath, uh, camping shoes, you know, like big hiking boots and the like. Uh, there's also storage on either the left-hand side or the right-hand side of the bed, which is really handy uh, to keep, you know, flip-flops, slippers, whatever you may need during the day. And then one of my favorite features about this that I use all the time are these little micro drawers. So these are full extension, uh, solid maple, soft closed drawers. But there are so many of them and it's just so convenient to be able to keep socks, underwear, uh, bathing suits, you know, pajamas, all those little things that you need that you don't need a huge drawer for right there. And of course, there's another nightstand here. And then I love the long hanging space. So there's a ton of long hanging space in this coach. And all we gotta do is flip down this little guy like this, and then we can open up and show you the inside here. So here you'll see we have a full expanse with a safe. I have our second ottoman here. And then you'll see here we have access to the Splendid washer and dryer, the water shut off. So very conveniently located. But above this uh, wonderful closet is one of my favorite features, which is a place to keep all of your pillows and bedding for that front high to bed couch. Now this again is a 40 foot coach. This coach is 40 feet, 10 inches long, and it has a mid bath, a king bed, a queen bed in the front and two bunks. So I can sleep six. So having this extra space to keep my spare pillows for when I do have guests is really nice. Now I use my bunks more for storage than for humans, but I am happy to report that my 15 year old daughter, Stella Rose, and my 19 year old son, CJ, were happily camping with us over the summer for 10 days 
Uh, plenty of room, both really happy. It was great to get the family together. Uh, our next trip, we're gonna go to uh, San Diego for the winter, we're going for Christmas. My son will join us. My daughter, however, will go to Mexico with her father and we'll use all of that extra storage for our paddle boards and the likes because we're gonna be coastal. So we'll just need all that extra space. So again, just really nice to have the flexible space in this coach for either storage or for items that you may not wanna keep underneath in the hot sun. Um, you know, if you've got a lot of items from Costco for your 4th of July gig, I have to tell you it's super handy to have all of that extra storage space under the coach. So as you can see, there's a ton of room in here. Uh, this is gonna be where we could set up our DVD player or PlayStation, um, Xbox, whatever you'd like to do. So just a great family environment. Uh, and also just a nice place. Uh, the second half of the trip will be staying on the beach. Uh, we'll be boondocking 100%, no power, no sewer, no water, and no cell phones. Uh, that'll be just my boyfriend Jason and I. And I think what's important to understand about this coach is this coach has 150 gallon water capacity. That's huge water. It also has a 60 gallon gray tank and it has a 40 gallon black tank. So this is a lot of room to be able to go camping. And I'll keep you report, I'll keep you posted and let you know whether or not we're able to go boondocking the entire time without having to dump our gray tanks. I think we'll have enough water for the five days that we're up in San Alejo. But let me know if you've got questions, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, but with an eight kilowatt generator and 150 gallons of uh, fresh water, I feel very comfortable in knowing that we're gonna have a great trip. I'm just curious as to whether or not we'll have to pull our slides in and dump our tanks one time in the middle of that trip. Um, all of that being said, one of the best features on this coach, I think, is this bunk area right here. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use this for humans, but you can. This bunk area is 72 inches long by 30. So we have, um, my son, of course, is 19. He's not small and he had plenty of room in here. Uh, I think he took top bunk, Stella Rose took the bottom bunk when they were staying. And what we found very useful and where they kept a lot of their stuff, honestly, was in these drawers down below. So each one of them had a place to keep their sweatshirts, or not sweatshirts, I'm sorry, their t-shirts, their shorts, their underwear, socks. And so that was really convenient that they could each have a drawer to keep their things in. But as you can imagine, if you're traveling and you wanna store something, maybe you have a dog and you wanna keep your dog beds down here and your leases and your water dishes, you could do that. And then for sweatshirts and coats, you have this great closet right here. And then for smaller items, you have these pull out full extension drawers. And as you can see, I'm pushing in on these and pulling them out as I go because they do lock into place. Now, as we compare this coach to the 40, uh, 4509, you'll note that this little uh, closet here is missing. And this is a really nice closet with some, some hanging space. And you can stack your shoes back here too. So four pairs of camping boots and tennis shoes fit as well as your sweatshirts and those things. And then uh, across from us, uh, we have their bathroom. So what was so nice about our camping trip was that when we were actually, you know, letting the kids sleep in, I could come in here. Uh, that door would be closed for us when we're sleeping. I could close this door and I could come in and take a shower here. Now you'll know uh, this shower is absolutely um, one of my favorite features of this coach. I had a radius shower in my Renegade Verona and I really like this square shower. Uh, there's something about it that just gives you a little more elbow room, if you will. Uh, you've got the skylight above, so it's got plenty of space there. If you want to sit down and wash your feet, you can. You could also set this slide so that it's so you're pouring water on you while you're sitting down washing yourself. So that's really nice to keep you nice and uh, keep you warm if it's cold out. Little place here for the razor and the, uh, and maybe your toothbrush and uh, toothpaste, your shampoo and conditioner. I keep on the floor. You'll note that that's one of the differences between the Supreme Air and the Superstar. A little more luxurious shower, but certainly for me, this is like a really nice setup. So I love this feature, but most importantly, we use this uh, recycled water feature whenever we're trying to conserve gray water, because if I have it set here to recycle, it's recycling uh, the water as it goes through the back walls, it doesn't come into the shower. It's leaving that 150 gallon uh, freshwater tank and then returning a little bit warmer until it's warmed up. After it's warmed up, this goes from blue to red. It lets you know your water's ready to go and then you flip it back over and then it will start coming out over the shower head and you can either choose this shower head on the left or this shower head on the right, but you can 
you get to pick which one you want it to come out of. Um, and so that's just a really nice feature because when we're boondocking, of course, we're not going to have um, a gray water tank, or a, I'm sorry, a sewage dump for our gray water. So for me, taking showers will probably be the thing that will make us have to dump our tanks the most. Uh, as you can see here, plenty of room for all of uh, we, our cleaning supplies is what we keep underneath here. Uh, below that you see we have our central vac system. Um, I will tell you that we have a little, uh, of course, um, carpet that we keep in here for, you know, just in the bathroom. And I do have to move that when I sweep. And that's going to be a difference between the 4509 and the 4065. So it's important to cover all of these little nuances. And of course, the 4065 is not a bath and a half as the 4509 is. Uh, this is always great for us. I get the middle shelf. Jason has the bottom. The kids share the top. We keep all of the, you know, the toothpaste things that everybody uses, hairspray in this one. I also keep my hair dryer in here and I can keep my flat iron in here. So plenty of room there. And then I keep all of our kitchen towels right here. And then our breaker box, of course. Um, I've never really had to reset anything on our coach. Uh, we've really had very few issues. Um, I can't, oh, we knocked the wiring loose on the central vac down below because we loaded it too much. Um, but that was the one thing I can think of. I will talk about this though. Uh, this Dometic switch is new and improved. Um, I like this, I can't feel my buttons. And so here, these are actually tactile and they glow. Um, but on the note of glowing, I can turn the glows off. So you can see up here when I touch this little backlighting panel, I can turn that off but it'll still have those buttons illuminated, which is really nice for when you're going potty at night. You can see, you know, if you're flushing or not. Um, all of that being said, one of the major improvements in this coach that I don't have that I would love is right here. So I love the fact that I can go through this coach and turn on all of my lights with a touch of a button. So I could turn on my reading lights in the bed. So you can see, I just turned those little guys on, on the left hand, right hand side and I could turn them all off by just going all lights off in the bedroom. Everything goes dark and I can just set my courtesy lights. So now you can see I have my courtesy lights going here. So these are just the lights that I would use to guide me if I was going to go to the bathroom at night. So really cool that you have so much control over the coach in 2023 with this lighting control panel. So this 10 inch panel was new for this year, but more importantly, it pairs to your cell phone. So you can actually pair this and then can do all of these controls to your phone. So you've got lights, HVAC. You can also monitor that your generator's running, know what your hours are. Uh, now keep in mind here, what we see here is we see we have our house and chassis fully charged. Uh, in our next RV, we'll see that when we go into our setup, we're going to be using, instead of our regular uh, lead acid batteries, we're going to be using our, uh, our, our lithium ion battery pack. So this has gotten to have 800 amp hours of, uh, of power or battery storage, if you will. And that's going to be provided to you by eight lead acid batteries that are six volt and then they're, they're daisy chained together. So they give us plenty of, uh, plenty of power on our trips to be able to run our uh, electronics. Uh, we can turn on our lights, charge our phones, Oftentimes, if it's uh, either cloudy or um, even just late at night, if we wanna make sure that our refrigerator stays on overnight, we may run our generator to make sure we've topped off that battery charge. But it's so nice to be able to just open up your phone and look at it and decide whether or not you need to turn your generator on. Um, in our case, we have to look above at our control system and it's not a huge deal, but having all of this you know, at the touch of a button is really, really handy. Uh, now, when we're looking at the difference between a Supreme Air and a, and a Superstar, the Supreme Air is going to have the option of a lithium ion battery pack. Um, I cannot run my air conditioner without having my generator on. Whereas in the Supreme Air, I can run that front AC off of my lithium ion batteries. And I can do that either while I'm driving down the road or if I'm just stopped somewhere for a little while and I wanna go for a hike and leave the dogs in the car. So that's gonna be one of those differences if you don't wanna to have to run your generator, that lithium ion battery pack has a second inverter that's gonna give you the ability to actually run that coach without being plugged into 50 amp. For us, we have uh, three solar panels on top of the coach. Um, here at our dealership, we install three 190 watt solar panels and getting you about 570 amp hours, I'm sorry, 570 watts of solar. The factory uh, package is 440 watts because they're 110 watt panels, so there's four of them. Uh, we like our pack because we can actually install up to four panels that are 190 each and get you a little more 
a uh, little more power for your space on top of your coach. Uh, we've had the three, it seems to be ample, but if you want to have a little bit more and you are more of a boondocker, of course that fourth panel is something we can daisy chain on for you. So good stuff to know. Um, and on the Superstars, I don't order the solar packet from uh, Numar. I actually install them here. I would encourage you to do so. It's less expensive and you get more bang for your buck. Okay, so now that we're leaving this area, uh, it's important to understand. So we had the door behind us. We also have this door in front of us. And what's so nice about this is my kids are 19 and 15 years old. So as you know, they like to sleep in. So you can literally close both of these doors and then they've got their own window shades and they've got their own day shades so they can black out their windows. And when I say black out your windows, this goes like completely black. Um, so they can black out their windows. Oh, sorry, I just hit the camera with my head. <laughs> That's a first, folks. Uh, so they uh, they can black out their windows and keep it completely dark in here and actually sleep in. And that we found that happened quite often, you know, where they wanted to get up at, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and maybe Jason and I were already back from a bike ride. Um, also, these little pockets here were always full of cell phones and cords. The USB ports above and the 110 outlets are great. My daughter and son both brought books with them that they were reading in the evening. Of course, they're also catching up on their social media. So nice little den for these guys. Um, and I think, you know, like I said, I don't use my coach uh, for people very often, but it was cool to be able to kind of use it and give you a report back as to how it went. Now, you'll notice here that the pantry is much smaller in the Superstar. Now for us, this is more than enough room. We keep our French press in here, our coffee beans. We have, uh, you know, cans of chili. Uh, we keep uh, boxes, we keep little uh, containers of chips, beef jerky, things like that. Um, but there's plenty of uh, storage in this pantry. Then you get six of these pullouts the whole way down. And of course they lock in place so they're not gonna come open while you're driving. Um, another great feature is gonna be this induction cooktop. This coach is all electric. Um, I don't use these cutting boards myself, but of course they're very handy to have. Uh, we do use this true induction cooktop all the time. Um, one of the things I can tell you about this cooktop is it is fast. It boils water so quick uh, and we use a French press so that's fantastic. Um, but most importantly, we take it outside and make French toast, cook our bacon. Uh, if we have fish, we'll cook the fish outside. Um, you know, a lot of times we're grilling, but if I want to saute some onions, I love taking this outside and plugging it into the coach. I don't have to have 50 amp. I can just plug it into my coach and uh, I can have my generator on or off and I can use my true induction cooktop only if I have 50 amp or my generator on. Uh, so that's important to understand. And when you're plugging this type of apparatus in or this, you're gonna need to have some source of power, whether it be your generator or if it's going to be your, um, your 50 amp. That being said, if you have that uh, lithium ion battery pack, you'll still need to have one of those two sources because that second inverter does not power anything except for that air conditioner. So that's important information. Uh, now here, um, we have our drying rack. Literally what I do is I pull out whatever number of dishes we need. I stow them here. They never get put away until we're gonna go road ready. Um, we use all of the shelves. I mean, really everything all the time. We keep our silverware in here. Um, this is just really, really handy because you can keep this all set up and all of your dishes, all of your bowls, you wash them in the sink and when you're done, you put them underneath. And then if my kids have done the dishes, you run the rinse feature because if my kids did the dishes, well, they're just most of the way clean. They're not all the way clean, so, um, but it's really, really nice. And then of course you can run a full cycle if you'd like to as well. Um, I love my scrubby drawer, use that a lot. And then great storage here underneath. And we're just about at our uh, one year anniversary with our coach and we have just had so much fun in it. Uh, and I've got to tell you from a function standpoint, everything works really well. We did buy a trash can that was taller than this and cut it down to size. And then I use this in the, uh, in the laboratory. So I don't use this in the kitchen, uh, but plenty of room underneath. If you want to cut one down to size, we got one that we can max out. And then this little uh, extension, you could put chips and dip on it or salsa and guacamole so everyone can access the snacks while you're working in the kitchen. And I love my dual basin sink. We put sudsy water in one side and then we rinse in the other. Um, and that's just to conserve water waste. 
And then of course up here we have like all of my olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper shakers go here. And then we keep um, a bunch of actually, you know, knickknacks, coffee pots. Um, we keep an air pot up there. If we make the French press, we'll put that into an air pot. Uh, and then this is full of backgammon, parcheesi. Um, gosh, I keep my pots and pans in this shelf right here. Uh, but lots and lots of spaces. You can see this is really deep. Uh, when I say really deep, like no kidding, unobstructed, you have 24 inches. So two feet deep uh, of space. So that's quite a bit of space. And then if I'm going to measure the length of this, You've got six feet of uh, six feet of storage by six by two, so really really handy there. Now you'll note that um, I've got the windows open here. I do have uh, the optional kitchen window, and then I have my nice pop out windows. I love these because if it's raining, I can still open my window and get that fresh air coming through. I will also open the bunk windows and run the fan to keep the air rolling through the coach. Uh, but all of that being said, when I want to close this got to come over here and pull this down. So this is going to be one of the feature differences between the 4509 and the 4065. In a Superstar, you're not going to have the option for power blinds. The other difference is that you can see that right below my feet, there's carpet. So on this full wall slide, you have a carpeted wall slide. This is not a hydraulic slide. Uh, so that's these are some of those key features. And I'll try to cover most of them today because when you're out RV shopping, it's really important to understand you don't need to top box with Numar. Uh, when I say top box, everyone goes, oh, I want a Supreme Air. Okay, the Supreme Air is going to have a twin screw tag axle and a DD13. Um, that's going to give you a 505 horsepower engine with 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. That's a bunch of torque. Um, a bunch of torque. This coach has an L9, so this is going to have a 360 horsepower engine, but it still has 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. Now compare that to, for instance, uh, Tiffin has a new uh, Super C out. It's got a 6.7 liter ISB. That's what they put in a Valencia. Uh, that's what we put in a uh, small chassis Ventana. Um, that's got 800 foot-pounds of torque. It's very, very different from this L9. The L9 uh, with 1150 foot-pounds of torque is the same engine that you'll find in the, the longer Ventana, so 40 feet and above, or for instance in the Dutch Star. So such a popular product. I get a lot of people who are comparing horsepower uh, to compare engines and that's how they're identifying engines. It's very important not to be confused. Uh, you've got a few different engine options. You've got an ISB, you've got an ISL, You've got a DD13, you've got a DD15, you've got a DD16. Um, so there's all these engine options, but if you really want to get down to the brass tacks about it, um, even an ISX. Uh, so the ISX can be uh, 1,695 foot-pounds of torque or 1,950. What you really want to compare when you're comparing engines is your torque rating because your torque is the thing that takes the thing that's not in motion and puts it in motion. It's also the thing that gives you the momentum going up the hills when you're towing anything, including just this house. Because people always think of towing. Uh, this coach has a 20,000 pound towing capacity. The Supreme Air has a 30,000 pound towing capacity. But all of that being said, when you're looking at this coach, this is a big coach. This is a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of equipment and you want to make sure you've got enough torque to go up the hill. So I am a big uh, believer that this L9 is more than capable of getting you everywhere you need to go, even up and over these 14,000 point, um, 14, foot peaks in the Rockies. Um, so we take our coach all over the place, all of the time. And I can say it's very comfortable to drive going up and over Eisenhower, which is a huge compliment to this product. And again, this torque rating is 1150 on this coach, which is more than enough to pull a trailer. We've got a 16 foot bullnose, or you can pull a flat, a flat tow, any kind of car. If you have an F-150, uh, if you've got a Jeep, you know, if you've got a Mini Cooper, any of those things will feel like a roller skate on the back of this coach. Okay, so this bed across the way from us is the same bed that I have. So this is the same setup. This is actually a convertible booth. So this converts into um, a sleeping area. Now I don't have any kids that are little enough to use this yet. Um, so all of that being said, why did I choose this booth? I chose this booth because it doesn't have the cornered edge here, which means all four of us can sit here and have dinner. Now, if you get the booth that is extendable, it comes with two chairs and an insert so that you can have more space to sit around. 
um, we didn't want to have to keep our chairs underneath our bed. We actually like to have this extra space. And so all four of us can sit down and eat dinner around this, uh, this area. And if we have an extra hanger on her, they can even use this little ottoman to sit down and have dinner with us. The other benefit that you have in having the, um, the convertible dinette is that you have more storage space underneath your booth. Because it doesn't angle in at the end, it goes out much further. So as you can see, this is a deeper pocket, it's longer, and I keep all of my dishes underneath on this side, and then I keep all of my placemats, barbecue utensils, napkins, and the like over here on this side. So this is really, really usable space to me, and this is important. Uh, of course, as you camp and you find your way in the world through your RV, they all function really well at this level. Uh, you'll note that there is a single seatbelt facing forward here. Uh, the other benefit to this coach is that if you wanted to take this down and put the cushion uh, on top of it, you could do that. It goes all the way down, it sits underneath it right on top of this, and without turning it into a booth, you could put a forward-facing or rear-facing car seat here and have a baby uh, in the proper position for traveling because you don't want little ones in car seats to be sitting sideways. So that's a nice feature. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and put this up on top for right now because I want to show us it fits by the way underneath on that carpet it's just a lot of work and I'm not feeling like working today I'm feeling like Avin and Jody are being really nice and letting me give you a side-by-side -side comparison now why do I do these side-by-side -side comparisons uh, because when you're looking to spend this much money you need to know whether or not you need to spend extra and um, the way that you can make that determination is by comparing units side by side and it's hard to do that from video to video. So we'll just do it all at once with one video. Um, now, both of these coaches are gonna have different seating accommodations. This, of course, has the couch with the queen size bed. This is actually a full height of bed. It's not a trifold, so that's a nice feature. Oh my gosh, there we go. And um, the trifolds are really comfortable too. I think that there's more of a stigma against people going, oh my God, I can't imagine that's comfortable. They actually, they're fine. But this is a nice full-size bed. It'll impress your guests. And um, we use this feature actually more than we use the bunks. Oftentimes we'll have friends camping with us. If Max and Liz come with us, Liz has all of her accoutrement. She's got her makeup bag, her different like 18 pairs of shoes, all the stuff. And she uses that top bunk for her stuff. Um, so like I said, there's different ways to use this coach. Um, I'm sure everybody does the same thing that I do. Um, this little cabinet right here uh, is not for a water bottle. This is where I keep the remotes, the coasters for uh, the tops of the ottomans, and also um, the champagne flutes. You know, doesn't everyone have like crystal champagne flutes? But I gotta tell you, Liz and I, we like to have, we like to have our little toast while we're out camping. So we have our little champagne flutes in there just for, just for the two of us. Um, Jason and I have had a few memorable toasts. We're gonna have to toast New Year's um, in San Diego. We'll be downtown uh, in the Mission Beach area in Mission Bay, um, about a mile away from my best friend's house. And what's so cool about that is you can take this big superstar and go camping in San Diego on the beach and you can be in a fully fledged park like we're doing on this first part of the trip or you can go up the coast of like San Alejo and do like that boondocking experience. Okay, I was gonna show you how this store stuff, but it has, it's kind of, there it goes, oh. Okay, so I keep a blanket in each one of my ottomans and I also uh, keep slippers when we're camping and then I use this flat side for when we're eating and we're sitting in front of the television, which is opposing. Now you'll note that this setup where you have the TV and the booth in, fr or in front of each other and the, and the couch or the recliners across the way is gonna be the same. Some of your differences are gonna be in pantry space and storage. Um, the couch is optional on both and so are the theater seats. So you could do either or. Now, one of the things I really love about my RV is this refrigerator. And this is gonna be the same refrigerator in both coaches. This is a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. It has a fantastic meat and cheese drawer, vegetable, fruit. I keep the Prosecco here. 
put the storage tray in place. It's got a water filter. That is gonna be for my water on my door. Uh, this has eliminated the need for me to keep a Brita in my coach. Uh, we have a whole house water feature outside as well. Here's the ice tray. This is also filtered water and then plenty of room for jello shots and popsicles or chicken wings. I mean, whatever you want. I think jello shots and popsicles sounds way more fun. All right, so check out all this storage. I keep my toaster up here. I keep all my bread in a bin up here. I keep my cereal up here. This is great storage space. So lots and lots of storage here. And then over here, you'll see, again, plenty of room to keep all of your video game apparatus. Um, I don't know, what do we keep here? I can't even really figure, I can't think about what we, probably knickknacks. I have like a lot of like fake plants and like little accessories that I put out that make me feel like I'm at home. I decorate everything when we get there. Oh, and in here you can see I have a nightshade over here pulled. Then I have a shade and a nightshade here showing you can have 50-50. And then I have the day shade over here. And then there's 110 outlets on either side with two USB ports. Um, when we have a lot of kids with us and Jason and I, there's four USB ports. We're using all four of those suckers. Uh, and again, you can do that without being plugged into 50 amp, just running off of your solar. Um, the sound bar up top is clutch. We use this all the time. Everyone's always fighting over who gets to have their playlist on it, but we love that. Um, now, both of these RVs are going to have a very unique feature to them. So you'll see this large black rainbow. Uh, what this is all about is this cab is separate from the house. Now, when I'm going down the road, I can actually see the shift between these two areas. And you'll notice that this is a flat entry. Your only step down is when you get here, okay? Um, but this big black rainbow, what it does is it allows the uh, cab of this coach to function on an air ride. So this is an air ride cab. Now, the front suspension is still gonna be spring leaf like you find in any two M2, I'm sorry, in any M2 106 or 112 chassis. So this is the M2 106 chassis. It does have a spring leaf suspension, but that air ride cab is giving you uh, air for your seats and also keeping your cab nice and buoyant. So when you're going down the road and your house is a rocking, it's nice and steady up here. Uh, and that's a really important feature for those of you that are coming out of a class A to understand this coach does not feel as comfortable going down the road as a class A does, but it feels far more comfortable than its comp competition because of the air ride cab. So uh, this is Newmar's attempt to take a Super C and mix it with a Class A and give you the luxury paired with the engine accessibility and the safety that you get for having your engine out in front of your RV. Uh, now, another thing I think that people fail to even think about when they get in here is how much storage is actually in these compartments. Oh, and then down here, here's your Newmar brand specialist, Darian Todd. If ever you have a problem, Numar is there for you. That makes a very big difference in your decision making, I would hope. Having a uh, dealership like ours that has Wade Phoenix giving you your uh, professional walk arounds and deliveries, having a person like Bill Habercorn who's employed solely to answer questions for you is really fantastic. Uh, but having a manufacturer that also has services like that to support you is really, really amazing. I mean, you can pull up into one of the 62 parking spots that Newmar has allocated for service or one of their 54 bays that they have allocated to do oil changes, uh, repair things, you know, whether it might be a slide repair, maybe you have furniture that needs to be done. All of those things can be done on site at Newmar and that's highly complimentary. There's not any other manufacturers uh, that are so welcoming uh, to their RV population. I mean, they have little dog rooms, big dog rooms, uh, lounges, you know, refreshments. It's just a really amazing place. Um, now, back to the storage though. So much room. So what I do with the kids is everybody gets a cubby and then I can go ahead and just put their, well, I shouldn't say the kids. Jason gets a cubby. If I find Jason's sunglasses sitting on, you know, the steps, which is half the time where they are, I pick them up and I put them in the cubby so that no one steps in them. So everyone can have a cubby, but there's so much room here. So you can keep all the stuff that you need, like your flashlights, you know, maps, anything that you, you know, that you need, like park books, if you have, you know, bird identifying books, all of those things. And then one thing that we just love about this is the blue sky that you get with this, uh, with this window. This is just fantastic. Um, now, I get a lot of people who ask me about making this coach black. So first of all, I can put this little shade down. 
So I can, I can absolutely uh, darken this if I have friends sleeping in the coach, which I mentioned more often I have people sleeping in the front area uh, when I have friends camping with us than when I have my kids. Um, so I can close this up. And then that curtain was in that first bin up there. The curtain snaps right here along these edges. Let's see if, there's our air horn. Or you could do. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so this curtain slaps all the way around and goes all the way around here. It's good. Um, if you're actually trying to warm the coach up, the curtain's great because when it catches the, the sun, it wafts up into the coach and it actually keeps it nice and toasty in here. And sometimes that's what you're going for. If you want to keep the heat out, um, there's a company called Heat Shield that makes inserts. And because this is an M2106 chassis, it's a regular Freightliner uh, insert that goes on the window uh, on each side. There's two and then there's one big one that rolls out for the front. And then you just flop down your visors, which by the way, ladies, buy a mirror. There's nothing to see when you're doing your lip gloss on either side. Um, but you flop down your little guy and it will, this will, the Mylar backed heat shield will definitely keep the coach cooler on the inside. Um, I just put a Cobra in. I don't know if you guys watched that video uh, that I did last week for my clients, but um, Gene and Abby came and picked up their uh, Superstar and they had their Cobra installed and they're on the road. They're super happy. They stayed in Estes Park near us for a few days just to make sure everything was cool. And then they headed off towards Breckenridge. Um, so thanks guys for your business. I super appreciate you coming up from Texas uh, to buy your coach from us. But um, really fun to see the Cobra in here. Really makes you feel like you're in a trucker type of truck. Uh, you've got your Allison transmission here. You've got your engine brake. You gotta turn that on in this, uh, in this model. So there's somewhere you can just go high or low. And this one, you want to turn it on. If you don't have it on, it won't work. And you really need to use that going down a hill. Um, power windows, uh, heated mirrors, lock and unlock. Uh, the light test, of course, is just to test the lights. Um, this coach has just about everything on it. Um, one of the things that we really liked about ours is, uh oh, I have to have it turned on to see the 360 camera. There's the right and the rear and the left, though. Yeah, it wants me to be on. But I'm not going to turn the coach on today. We, we're doing two, two RVs. Jody's like, thank God. Uh, so anyway, so uh, the 360 camera is a nice feature. Um, this coach is really very similar to the one that I own myself. So I have it equipped very much a similar way. Uh, this locking rear diff is not the same as what you're going to have in the twin screw. So in the Supreme Air, which is right, right out in front of us, that coach has multiple different locks where you could actually lock up all uh, six of your rear wheels. This one has only four, but you can lock them up so you can get a little more traction if you need it, but not nearly the amount of traction you are going to get if you're pulling a heavy stacker or if you've got, you know, if you're going into a lot of places that have, um, you know, sand, gravel, grit, and, or snow, and you need to get out of those, um, those areas, this coach in front of us is very much uh, a, an all-terrain coach that can definitely get you out of some more sticky situations with that twin screw. Um, house and chassis battery boost are always important. We'll use that. Of course, if you um, are low, you can, you know, borrow from one or the other. Docking lights, uh, cab lights, all that stuff. Uh, your climate control is going to be very similar in both of these. And then uh, you can start your generator here from the, uh, from the front or you can turn it off. We're going to go ahead and turn that off while we go outside. Uh, but before we leave, Jody, you can stay right there. Um, oh, I didn't put the TV up. I'll put the TV up while we're bringing the slides in. Uh, so that is that 50 inch television we talked about. Again, that is a smart uh, TV. It's 4K. And I do want to show you the walking space in both of these. So we're going to end in the front today between the two, but we are going to do the outsides next. Um, I'm going to show you the step cover in this coach. And again, um, after, you know, I think we've got about 11,000 miles on our RV, um, probably about six or seven camping trips in, uh, two that were on the longer end of things. Uh, we've been all the way to Fayetteville and, and back and Indiana. Um, I would say, the overall rating of this coach, I would give this like a solid nine and a half stars. Um, the only place where I think there could be an improvement, and we've talked about this, is it would be nice to have uh, a bath and a half. And so as you'll see, the next coach we're looking at is a bath and a half. Um, I'll tell you though, that spot that I'm getting into in San Diego, when we go stay on the beach is a 44 foot spot. Um, so it's nice to have the 40 foot coach because it opened that up if I had had if I told him I had a 45, I don't know if I would have gotten into uh, into the San Diego camp that I'm going to. 
gonna go ahead and grab my clipboard and bring in this rear bedroom slide. But as you can see, I had plenty of room to get back here to access uh, this rear bedroom or this rear bathroom. Um, the ladder's removable. So when you're in motion and you need to use the restroom, you can actually leave that ladder in place and still have access to your bathroom. Um, as you can see, Jody has plenty of room there. If you've got a larger dog or, you know, um, a few of them, there's plenty of room for them to hang out while you're going down the road. You can put a dog bed there and put that step cover down. Um, it's really funny. I have a client right now that's telling me, he said, well, I need to be able to run the rear air conditioning while I'm driving because my daughter's in the back watching princess movies all the time. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, so like I said, you can get through here. If you're um, healthier than I am, you could remove this if you needed to, to be able to have easier access, but plenty of room there. Uh, so convention and microwave oven we'll cover in the next one since we kind of glossed over that. Uh, one thing to note about this uh, exit door is that you have these really fantastic slides on, or steps on both of these coaches. So these hydraulic steps are a really nice luxury. You'll find these on our higher end, you know, King Airs and Essex, for instance. Um, it's nice that they're on uh, the Super C. I don't know what it is that makes it so that they should have them, uh, but it certainly is a really nice step. And it articulates, it actually has sensors on the bottom and on the front. So if it was to stop early, you'd actually still have the ability to use the steps up and down. So if it hits a curb, for instance, where you're parked, it still works. Now, one thing I wanted to cover today is right here. So we're gonna look here at both of these. So you can see this coach has 5,335 pounds of carry capacity. Now, when I say that, it's really important to understand we don't have 5,000 uh, pounds of carry capacity, and then you have to weigh the coach and make sure that you actually have enough room uh, to, to bring your 20,000 pound trailer. This coach has 5,335 uh, 5, pounds of carry capacity and 20,000 pounds of towing capacity because Numar builds their coaches responsibly. They're really, really into it actually. Uh, so much so that they won't even install a full-size uh, freezer in this coach because they want to make sure the weight ratings are in line with how they build their star foundation. Now up here in the front, you'll see that's where we turn on the air ride cab. In this Supreme Air, there is no button to turn that on, just so you understand. Uh, there's, the, uh, there's your water line down here. So your hot water line comes out here. And then here is uh, one of your larger storage bays. Now you can see this is a ton of storage. And keep in mind, this has an air chalk to it. You can air up all of your tires. Um, that's the line for doing that. And this is uh, 46 inches wide by, uh oh, I gotta pull it out even more. Holy moly, uh, 27 and a half inches deep up to the seal. Now in 2023, we did improve a lot of things, including headlights and seals. So these doors close a lot, er, a lot easier. Now you'll note on both coaches, we have the door lock, so you can put your code in here and hit one to unlock your doors, hit two to unlock your bays, or you can just push and hold one to lock everything before you're leaving and just leave your keys inside and use your code to get back into your coach. So if you're gonna go whitewater rafting, you might wanna leave your keys here so that you don't have to try to find them at the bottom of the river. Um, and that's just a nice feature. So this is one of your largest uh, storage bays. You'll notice how tall this is. This is because we use the, far, the star foundation to raise this coach up off of the chassis rail and the drive line. So this coach is giving you so much more height in these storage bays. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, well that's such a dinky little cooler. You know what? This cooler is actually really awesome. Um, I didn't know I was gonna be such a fan, but it doesn't require ice. So you can keep your drinks in here, keep them cool outside. If you need more room for beer than that, it's a lot of beer, man. You get a lot of cold beer in there. Um, you could also use it for popsicles. And of course my favorite jello shots, but no, so this is just a lot of room. And then if you have that cooler, just to answer the question, how much of another cooler could you have? Because I know we all want to have a cooler that we can take with us that we do put ice in. This is 35 inches um, from wall to edge that you could actually still put another cooler in there. And on the left here, Jody, you just want to show those LED lights. I love that feature of this coach. Um, so yeah, so you could absolutely, um, 
make all the margaritas here. Um, I didn't unlock this earlier, so we're not gonna go look at the TV. Um, the TV has a sound bar, USB ports, and 110 outlets here. Um, I went tailgating to the Red Hot Chili Peppers with my kids uh, for their graduations from eighth grade and their senior year of high school. We watched Red Hot Chili Pepper videos right there, barbecued, tailgated. We were by far the best looking rig in the parking lot. It was super fun. Uh, there's some of your porcelain tile. So you're gonna have porcelain tile in both of your coaches. Um, as you can see here though, in this back of this coach, because of this raised uh, star foundation, you have passed through all the way through to the other side. That's really unique. And you can see the star foundation just to the left of that road back there. You can see how it's taking the heavy weight of the slide and it's taking it in that tubular steel construction and pushing it down towards the center of the coach. And this is what's giving you that raised suspension. And as you know, when you're driving down the road in something like a Jeep um, or a Forerunner, anything that's higher off the ground handles a little bit softer. It's a little more easy to, um, you know, to glide over those bumps. That's one of the reasons that Newmar does this. It brings you up off the road and it takes that heavy weight and it puts it down towards the center of the coach. So you've got better handling. Uh, so these are the attachments for your washer or for your uh, vacuum cleaner. And then over here on the left, as you can see, we have one of my favorite features. We use this all the time. We have this really nice garage. I am gonna measure this because I think the depth of these is gonna be different on the Supreme Air versus the Superstar. And we'll start there next. So this is 54 inches uh, to the edge on the inside, uh, but this, this uh, storage area up top is gonna be the same on both. There is a light above. It is sheltered from the rain. In an emergency situation, we keep all of our, um, like our Oasis juices in here. Uh, we keep our, uh, our extension cords, things along those lines back here in this portion of the coach. But if you're having a party, what a great place for top shelf and all of your mixers, just saying. And you could just put the little, you put your cord right through here, keep the blender out here. I mean, you could just really do it up, man. Uh, again, 20,000 pound hitch. Please note that this coach does not have a trailer brake integrated into it. If you want a trailer brake, you need to let me know. I am fully wired for lights and for your seven pin connector, but I don't have a trailer brake installed. Um, that being said, I have a really nice downsizer and a really robust hitch that comes standard right over here in this cabinet. And I also have a buddy plug right here as well. So we do have a lot of the goods that you will need. So I wanna close that up real quick for our beauty shot at the end of this production. Um, Again, pass-through storage. Uh, we keep a Costco table in that little compartment back there, which we use a lot when we're camping, uh, so we don't have to put all of our food on our picnic table. Uh, the docking lights are hugely useful. Uh, we do keep our hose in here, gloves. We keep the other half of the hose in this bay. Um, as you'll see, this has got that whole house water filter. It's got a power water uh, reel as well. Uh, it's got hot and cold shower and it's a very, very easy to use coach. The storage line is outside of the coach. Of course, we do, again, put our hose right back in that compartment, so <laughs> not a big deal. So here's your eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. As you know, we were running the earlier. Batteries are to hold juice. This coach holds 800 amp hours of storage. Um, that coach holds 40. You have to buy that third battery uh, and you get up to 960, but still it's not a whole lot more. It really depends on how you function. Um, this is a setup I have. It's been fantastic. I've got no issues with it. Um, we have a nice barn that we keep our RV in now. Uh, we you know, finished our property last November. Um, but it's not, we don't have our 50 amp installed yet. Um, it's cold out there, our battery is fine. So I don't know. If you want that lithionics package, let me know and we can talk about why you would use it or not. Uh, here's that hydraulic system. This is again, you've got the HWH hydraulic leveling jacks on both coaches and also those power steps. In the Supreme Air, it will also power this slide. See here is electric. It is not a hydraulic slide. So this whole hydraulic slide this is why you have a full wall that's why you have 
carpet in this coach. But on the Supreme Air, you'll see that difference is going to be that we have that gives you the ability to have what's called more floor or an all tile interior. Now your Oasis uh, Chinook dual loop heating system, so your hydraulic heat and your tankless hot water heater are going to be the same on both of the RVs. So in both of these RVs, you're going to have this fantastic dual loop Chinook system. Um, I'll tell you, there's three different ways to run this. There's AC1, uh, which is your first coil, AC2, and then there's the burner. And if you use burner heat on this coach, first of all, you don't have to be plugged into 50 amp to use burner or have your generator running. It can run right off of your diesel tanks, uh, which is a hundred gallon. Uh, in this coach, saddle tanks, we're gonna look at the difference because in the Supreme Air, it's a singular tank. Um, the saddle tanks are easier to fill faster. I shouldn't say easier, they're faster to fill because you put the fuel in on both sides. Uh, the single tank is easier to fill because there's only one access point, but it takes longer. So. Uh, there's trade-offs, right? Uh, so 50-foot power cord, you've got a surge protector as well. This is where your access for your cable is. This is also where your inverter is. Um, and again, there's only one of those on the Superstar where there's gonna be two Supreme Air. Uh, in both of these coaches, uh, you'll see right over here next to this docking light, that's the overhead camera. Uh, of course, you have this fantastic Superstar label. And then uh, if you didn't, if you, I didn't deploy these today just because we're doing a pretty long video, but uh, you can see that this ha does have the carefree awning package. These are manual, so they set according to wherever that latch goes here, where on the Su Supreme Air, uh, I'm gonna show you one of them where you can actually change the pitch of them so you can uh, keep it from blocking your view. So that is kind of a nice feature. Uh, but again, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted just to show you your access to your def tank here as well as your 250 gallon uh, saddle tanks. So giving you 100 gallons of fuel. Very easy access into this coach. And as you can see, you have heated seats here, lumbar support as well. And then you also have air suspension and you can lock that position as well. And you can also adjust your, your steering wheel. It's telescopic. You just step right here on this little bad boy and you can bring it up and down. This coach does not have mobile eye, nor does it have adaptive cruise control. It has standard cruise control. So that will be a difference between the Superstar and the Supreme Air as well. So let's continue around. And we're gonna start over here on the, uh, on the port side. Um, now, before we go there, you know what? I know we need to give Avin some room, some time to go over the, uh, to move the cameras around. So let's go ahead and start here first. Let's just take a look underneath here while we work on getting reset for our, uh, our Supreme Air video shot. So this is that 8.9 liter Cummins. Uh, the way that the Cummins identifies itself is it's red. Um, and then that's mixed in here with your uh, Freightliner chassis. And then down here, you can also see your negative and positive jump points as well. So if you needed to jump your coach to get it started, for some reason, that's where you would uh, want to go ahead and put those um, battery jumper cables on. And then down here, you can see that spring leaf suspension. And one of the things that's really interesting to talk about too is, so you've got these gigantic Michelin tires, right? So these are uh, 315s. And where that's significant is we had somebody uh, who ordered an extra tire and he told them what kind of RV it was. Uh, and they didn't look it up right, so they brought over a semi-truck tire, and it was literally like three of these wide and really skinny. Numar puts on these big, robust, grippy tires so that you have more, uh, more traction going down the road. So as you can see, you've got one, two, three in the middle here. So you take a look at that, and then take a look over here. So now we're talking about, so where, what's the difference? Why do I go from a superstar to Supreme Air? One, two, three, four rows here. This is a 365 instead of a 315. So again, this coach is gonna be, if you're somebody who's uh, showing, um, you know, horses and you've got a really long, heavy, uh, you know, trailer, like an eight horse, and you wanna have that more robust grip, this is your coach. In fact, we just sold, uh, we've got a client who's on the rodeo circuit um, and they are, they bought a Supreme Air for exactly that reason. And one of the things that they crawled underneath to see was they wanted to make sure that they had uh, the braking system that they were expecting on this RV because this has dual brakes in the rear. So it has semi-truck brakes too. Again, this is the M2112 chassis, but here's that single fill 100 gallon tank 
versus your dual fill. Now keep in mind, I told you, Numar is super responsible about weight allocation. There's your hot water outlet here. So as you remember, it was on the um, starboard side, uh, behind the passenger seat on the other coach. Here it's on the port side behind the driver's seat. So there's some differences. Uh, here's your overflow system for your Oasis. I don't think I pointed that out in the Superstar. Also your airlines and in your DEF tank, all in one location. And then here, we are gonna get into our chassis batteries. Now again, this is a special coach. This coach is equipped with our uh, lithium ion battery pack. We also have the extra uh, chrome trim at the bottom of this coach, which is optional on both. But here's that lithium ion battery pack. So these are two 320 uh, amp hour batteries giving you 640 amp hours. You can get a third in there. Uh, it's available for order now. Uh, previously, Numar had the dealer install it, but we can now install those for you. And then as you can see, you have your extra inverter here. And again, keep in mind that uh, inverter is solely focused on the front air conditioner. It cannot be modified without going in and reprogramming the entire silver leaf system. So that is for that front AC only, but it can be operated going down the road. So here's a great place to keep your Outlander fire pit. There again is your surge protector, your 50 foot power reel. Here's gonna be another one of those differences. As you can see, now your black, your gravity tank doesn't come to the outside of the coach, but that's because you have the SantaCon system available here. And you'll also note that you have a digital display uh, for your uh, water tanks, as well as all the other features that were on both coaches, the hot water outside, the full house water feature or filter. Um, and then you have a gray tank rinse in the Supreme Air where you only have the black tank rinse in the Superstar. Uh, docking lights are the same. And then we also have a different generator on this coach, right? So uh, eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator on the Superstar and on the Supreme Air we have a 12,500 or 12.5 kilowatt uh, Onan diesel generator on the Supreme Air. Again, this is gonna be really hefty stuff um, and may or may not be important to you. So make sure before you spend all that money that you're buying something that you need, but if you need it, it's here for you. And then here's one of those awnings that you can see. So as I mentioned earlier, there's no pull tab here. So instead of having to attach it to something, um, it's a power it's a power awning and you can change the pitch of this and i'll show you how you do that on the inside but that way it's not blocking your views uh, so back here of course again that fantastic pass through we also have our buddy pug our porcelain tile but look at the size of this hitch um, <laughs> this is this is what you call a mac daddy hitch so again, this is a 30,000 pound towing capacity. This coach has 1,850 foot pounds of torque. It is a beast. Um, and then it still has that same fantastic garage as I mentioned earlier. Oh, I forgot I had sunglasses. That is gonna be so much better. It is super nice out today, you guys. It's like 80 degrees and just perfect weather. Just beautiful here in Colorado. Okay, so we had 54 on the other one. Man, and it just keeps on going 85 inches. Look at that. That is a lot of storage. So if you've got heavy stuff, God, if you've got, that would hold a fly fishing pole. <laughs> I mean, that is a lot of storage in that, uh, in that rear compartment uh, on the Supreme Air. This is also a little wider, as you can see. Um, so overall, very different functions. And I ask people that all the time when they call me. You know, what are you looking to do? How are you gonna use this coach? Where are you going? What are you bringing with you? Um, so to get a 4509, because you need a bath and a half, I totally get it, that's a thing. Uh, but there's people out there that are doing way too much on a Superstar. Like you really should get a 4051, get a bath and a half short Supreme Air. Uh, but this coach, if you are, uh, who wants to go trackside, if you're into motocross, if you're into uh, you know, dirt biking, cycling, uh, if you have uh, horses, if you're racing cars, this is the rig for you. I mean, this is definitely built 
for people who are holding or towing heavy loads cross country. Uh, it's giving you all the power that you're going to need. And again, with that very responsible allocation of weight. Uh, so this is a nice feature. This is a pound rated slide. So just nice to have a slide. They take up a little bit of space from height perspective, but of course, as you can see, there's plenty of height because of that star foundation. Now here's another difference that we're gonna talk about about the Supreme Air versus uh, the Superstar. The Supreme Air has that egress door uh, back here that you're not going to have on the Superstar. So that escape hatch is there. And then also, just so you know, I did, I've got this put down. You can kind of see, I've got the top, I've got the blackout shade on the top, and then I've got the day shade about halfway down. So you can kind of see what you can see in there. But as you can see, you can of those puck lights. So if you didn't have the windows, I don't think you'd have to worry about a whole lot of peeping toms. It's pretty high up there. Now we are going to take a look at this fully pulled in, uh, but I want to kind of show you around the outside first. So we'll, fi we'll finish up through here. This is a great storage bay. Again, I love those Outlander fire pits. Maybe I would keep one in here. I don't know, with a propane tank. People say, how do you carry a propane tank uh, in your coach? You put an egg crate. That way it doesn't tip over. Um, and we put our, our fire pit right on top of it. Uh, we definitely bring one of those with us because there's a lot of fire bands in Colorado. Here's that Dometic. Definitely not as much cooler space in this bay. So here you'd have to find something else creative to put next to that. I'm sure you can find something to stick in there. L Lord knows half the guys that I meet have tools. Okay, so here's that television setup. Now this is the same as what we had in the Superstar. I really like this a lot. So when you're sitting down, uh, your camp chairs are at this level. And as you can see, this is going to keep all of the glare off of your coach because it's being covered by this, uh, by this uh, overhead cover here. That's why it doesn't open sideways. So this is actually giving you glare protection so you can watch television there. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the sound more, more often. Um, and then there's that Oasis uh, dual loop um, system again. And on the right-hand side, because it's a Supreme Air, it's more fancy, they've covered the hydraulic mechanism. It's the same exact mechanism. It's just the Superstar is not as fancy as the Supreme Air. It has a cover on the Supreme Air. Um, this is one of the differences in the bays. Uh, so there's your downsizer and your hitch. Everything, of course, that more meaty aspect is already on the back of it. But you'll note that there's no need to turn your air ride on on this coach. It comes on automatically, so you don't have to do that. Now, in both coaches, we have that same great access to the cab, but you'll see that your seat controls here are just a little bit different, right? So there's a little bit different in the way that they look. Still have the lock, still have heat, um, but also very, very comfortable. Now, you'll see how high up this is. If you... Um, are not seven foot two, you'll probably need a footstool when you have that passenger seat fully deployed for air ride. Because um, it goes way up in the air. And okay, I get it. I'm very much ver vertically challenged. I'm wearing flats today, so I probably look particularly short. Um, but I've not met anyone who's been able to sit in that seat with a fully deployed who can put their feet on the ground. So just be prepared to have a step stool in front of you. And the cool thing is, is you can use it for all sorts of other things, but you'll probably need one. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop out inside. Uh, there's one of those overhead camera. Again, we're gonna have 360 degrees on both. We're gonna have three awnings on uh, both of the coaches. We have, again, our access point here. To have and then, as we mentioned earlier, we are going to focus on both of these features. Fifteen pounds of carry capacity. Holy moly, 13,000 pounds of carry capacity on this coach and a 30,000 pound towing capacity. So you get both of those things. So as you can see, this M2 112 chassis is much more robust and much more meaty than what you have on the Superstar. So depending on what you're doing, this might be a better fit for you or it might be overkill. That's really something you'll have to discern yourself. Now, as we go in here, You'll note first thing when you're walking up these stairs, this is a really big living room and there's no carpet. This is an all tile floor. So this full wall side 
is built on more floor. The more floor is giving you more floor. So less carpet, more floor. Um, as mentioned, you can still have a couch here. You are always opposing in the bunk models the television. So if that's important to you, it's going to be on both coaches. Um, here you also have your theater seats. These go really flat. They're really comfortable. They give great support to the tallest of dudes and they're still comfortable for the littlest of ladies. Um, and that is after talking to several people who've tried them out. Um, one major difference between these two coaches is that they have these things where you can change the colors of your cup holders. That's a really important key feature to have in an RV. Like I could have it set to pink. I love pink. Um, <laughs> Jody's like, whatever, Katie. Uh, here's a place to keep your remotes. And then I told you I keep my um, blankets in my ottomans. Here you could keep them right here in the center. There's plenty of room for a few blankets here. And then as you can see here, I have all of our day shades deployed. Now, one of the differences between the Supreme Air and the Superstar is that these are all power. So I don't actually have to do anything except for use my silver leaf panel. And you'll see I have silver leaf panels all over the coach. So I just go here, I hit shades, and then I hit day shades, and they all come up, or I can stop them. They don't have to come all the way up. I can put all my nightshades down. So I can do all of this with just a touch of a button. So if I'm having company over and everyone wants to go to sleep and it's time to watch a movie or anything like that, I can go ahead and black out this entire coach very easily with just the touch of a button. Or I can pull them all up with just the touch of a button, which is so nice. Now we still have the same power shade. We have the same storage capacity. Here we have uh, Mike Hale. So Michael Hale is our rep here where Darian is gonna be for superstars. Mike Hale is gonna be our rep for our Supreme Air and for our new air product line. Um, and Darian is gonna be for superstars. Now keep in mind, the superstar is the equivalent build to the Ventana. The Supreme Air is the equivalent build to the Mountain Air. So if you wanted to know what that comparison is, where those decors come in, where those color choices come from, uh, that's where you're going to have them. Uh, in this coach here, we have the Haven exterior and interior. In the coach that we just looked at, we have the Colfax interior and the Blanco exterior. The Blanco exterior is now available. Uh, when I had my coach uh, as Blanco, I had to pay quite a bit extra to have that. It's now a no charge option. So. To have an all white coach, you can go ahead and do that. Um, or you can do what I did in that coach that we had last week, which is that custom color where you can do like all gray or all silver, whatever it is that matches your trailer. Um, so that very easy. You'll notice the Bose uh, sound bar in this, of course, is a little more robust. We've got this really nice soft handle uh, Villa furniture. This booth is a little smaller. Um, now keep in mind, why is that? Well, because this is one of those Hold on, wait for it, extendable dinettes. So take a look at how much table space you have here. So even though this booth initially is a little bit smaller, by pulling out that extension, you have a lot more room. Now keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, that means you're keeping your seats uh, or your chairs underneath your bed, or you could just have different chairs that you're using both inside and outside. Um, so back here, I don't know if anyone's familiar um, I love Pimpernel placemats. They're corkboard, they're hard. They work great in an RV. If you don't have a set, uh, tell me you watch this video when you buy your RV for me and I'll get you a set of placemats as well as a gallon of Oasis juice. Now, why do you need Oasis juice? Because both of these coaches have hydronic heat, which means there's a tube of liquid being uh, boiled in that uh, dual loop Chinook system. That tube of liquid's going underneath the coach. These are thermostatically controlled bays on both coaches. It pushes air over that hot tube of liquid, giving you what we call hydronic heat. Now keep in mind, in this coach, not in the Superstar, but in the Supreme Air, this has also got electric floor heat. Now why does it have hydronic heat? Can you imagine what would happen if you had a coach that had hydronic heat in the floor and there was a leak? You would have a wet leak underneath your tile that is a disaster waiting to happen. This is electric floor heat. We have a little tool where we can detect if there's no magnetic current going through one of the tiles 
we can figure out exactly where that break is, pull the tile, and then just repair that line and the electronic line and repair your floor heat. If you get a leak in a hydronically heated floor, uh, and by the way, folks, watch out. They're out there. Make sure you're asking that question. You do not want hydronic uh, heat in the floor of your coach uh, because you ask them, what would you do to have to repair it? And the answer is astounding. Um, and tell them, say, I'd like you to put that in writing so I can make sure that if it happens to me, I know what I'll need to do. And you will not like that answer. Um, so again, electric fl floor heat in this coach, hydronic heat, and then this coach has three 15,000 BTU uh, air conditioners and heat pumps, whereas the Superstar has two at the 40 foot length. Another differentiating feature between the Supreme Air and the Superstar is that this coach can be 45 feet where the maximum length of the Superstar is 40. And the uh, minimum length of the Superstar is 37. The maximum length of a Supreme Air is 45 and the minimum length is 40. So uh, you can get all the way up to 40 or all the way down to 40 in both products, but the low end of the Superstar is 37 feet. Uh, in Canada, that 37 foot Superstar is the most popular thing since sliced bread. Everybody has one. Here in the US, I seem to sell a lot of 4059s and a lot of 4065s. Uh, but whatever floats your boat, we have all of them here right now. I have two, uh, oh, there's that curtain we talked about earlier. Um, I have two, uh, two bunk models here, as well as a used bunk model, 2023 available for sale. Um, we have a 37 foot or two available. We have several 4059s. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, that big black rainbow is going to be the same in both of these coaches. But as you can see, there's no place to keep your crystal champagne flute here. So where does the room go? Let's talk about that. So starting here in this kitchen, you've got a little more space. Um, the, this is about the same. Your sinks are definitely a little wider. So you have a smaller vegetable sink, but a much more generous uh, uh, main sink so you could still do your sudsy water and your rinse if you wanted to do that but as you can see a little more generous uh, undermount stainless steel sink basins um, so a little more room here uh, the other place where you're going to have your room is that we had in the superstar those that bank of four drawers oh my, there we go what am i doing wrong here here we have the three drawer bank full extension and you'll notice that these are going to be dovetailed uh, at the Supreme Air level. So these are all dovetailed. It's a little difference there. Um, and then you have your similar uh, shape and size of your uh, pull-out drawer. This one has a little bit different compartmentalization. Mine actually has a big open space and a small silverware drawer. I kind of like it better, but that's okay. You know, but who is going to complain? Again, here's some of those silver leaf panels. As I said, you can control your coach throughout this, uh, you can control the entire coach uh, throughout the RV at these panels or on your phone. So both of them have the phone capacity, but this is much nicer than the KIB switches you find in the Superstar. The window is a lot bigger. Look at the size of that window. Uh, you have the same microwave and in, uh, in convection oven in both. So that's the same, uh, same microwave, identical, uh, same refrigerator as well. And then you have a little more storage up here above. So as you can see, and they've got these really nice full extension uh, trays so you can get all the way to the back. And then here, we've got a little extra place where we can keep our, uh, the toppers for our, both our convection, or sorry, induction cooktop, as well as our sink covers. And then this is a big difference. Look at, this is a very big difference. This is a really large area underneath. And most importantly, Oh my God, all the scrubbies you could ever want. I love that. How many scrubbies could a girl have? Now here's another difference. So if you could recall, my pantry is not quite as generous as this one. Um, now the width of the uh, these for me is more than enough, but what I would love to have is the ability to put my pots and pans down here. So by simply taking one of these out, sliding it over like this, I could put my quart pan in here. I could put my frying pan down here. I could really size this up so I could put all of my pots and pans underneath my pantry, which I would super love to do. Um, of course, this is the same 18.7 cubic foot refrigerator, so we're not going to show that. It has the same step cover as well. Uh, we'll go over this little control panel. We didn't cover this on our first walkthrough. 
Uh, so you've got your hydraulic leveling coach or jacks here. Again, solar I would recommend installing on a Supremier four panels of 190 watts and having us do it will save you money and give you a lot more power than 440, uh, which is so much so important, I think, when you have these batteries that are able to charge and hold so much storage. Uh, your wine guard razor antenna is standard where it's optional on uh, the Supreme or on the Superstar. Same awnings that Gerard awning set. And then our awnings, though, are going to be power. So um, both are good. both of your large awnings are power in both coaches, but your uh, driver's side, let's see if I can get it to come out. So I'm going to show you how this worked. I hear it. Do you hear it? Oh, there it goes. All right. So as you can see, so what's different about this is I can go ahead. I'm going to pull these shades up for you, Jody. You can stay there. Uh, what's different about this is I'm going to go ahead and pull these shades up for you so you can see them. Again, how nice is that? Um, but I can change the pitch of this awning. I can make it go down a little bit more or a little bit less. So it's not, in, it's not impacting my view, but I can still get the protection from the sun. So that is a nice feature between these two coaches. Um, okay, so something that I'm missing though, remember my great second little place to hang coats and jackets? I don't have that in this coach. This is the same sleeping accommodation though. Um, as you can see, the bedroom windows are a little bit larger. Um, you still have your um, 110s and your, and your USB ports, as well as your KIB switches. Uh, and then these guys have their own power buttons for their, uh, for their shades. They can control their shades here or you can tr control them in the center of the coach. So that's really nice. Again, uh, we'll oftentimes keep those windows open, run uh, the fan. Like the, so we've got fantastic fans throughout the coach. Both of these coaches have three. We'll run this fantastic fan. Um, and the Superstar doesn't have that beautiful wood fascia on top of it. Um, and then we'll keep that air circulating throughout the coach. But as you can see in the 4065, this is the full bathroom where here, this is just your mid bath. Um, but you still have that same ability to protect your uh, light from coming in for the kids by closing both of these. So they still have that same access. The only difference is, is you don't need to share uh, the potty with them at night. They have their own toilet. And then um, in terms of storage in this bathroom, um, oh, I still have my sunglasses on, Jody. <laughs> you should have told me I look kind of silly. They look really cool, actually. So cool. Um, no, so great storage here in the center bath. Um, you got your GFI grounded out outlets here in the cabinet, nice and tucked away. Um, but if you are someone who wants to be able to do your makeup, these in mirror lighting that you get in the Supreme Air is super decadent. It's really bright. It really shows your face so that you can see nice and close. Um, you also have a place if you wanted to keep like a mirror here, I would need like a 10x magnifying mirror to be able to see these days. Getting a little old, ladies. Getting a little old. Um, lots of breaker boxes up top here in the middle instead of being in the back like they are on my Superstar. And then little storage underneath here so you can keep your makeup bag here. So if you are the early riser and you want to get up in the morning um, and handle your business with some privacy, this is a great mid bath. Um, and then again, I have to take my little uh, carpet out in my bathroom to use the sweep plate and I use it all the time. Um, for those of you who want to know for sure, it works. It works great. If you have a broom, you don't even need to pull your vacuum out. You don't need to have a dustpan. Just sweep into that little bad boy and you are taken care of. Um, much like both of these, you've got this beautiful mirrored headboard. Same storage up on top. Uh, I've got all the power shades drawn on this, but you have ventilation on both the driver and, I'm sorry, the driver, <laughs> the left and the right hand side of the bed. Um, and I am going to go ahead and pull the shades. Jody, if you want to come around here and just show this off. So we do have a different uh, module here. So this is going to be the Silverleaf system. This downloads to your phone as well. It certainly is more involved. Um, it gives you all of your tank readings, AC power, DC power, your generator, what's going on with it, your water capacity, your climate control, your floor heat. Um, oh, that's sorry, your block heater, your batteries. You can read all about those guys. Uh, coach mode allows you to say, 
I am unplugged outdoor and hit activate and it changes all of your settings for you. Uh, here's your floor heat and then uh, here are your uh, kitchen stool room and master bathroom fans. You can uh, lock all, uh, lock and unlock all of your doors or see if they're unlocked or locked. So you could unlock them by just pushing that. And then all of your shades can be controlled here. You can also control your TV lift. So I'll put the TV lift down. Um, but you can go into here and control all of your shades. And you can also uh, control your lights. So you can go here and just hit all lights off and everything goes dim or you can hit all lights on and everything turns on. So very nice uh, here in the bedroom, we could turn everything on individually and we can also slide them. So you can change the amount of illumination you're getting. So kind of a cool feature. Um, and then this is gonna be for your, uh, your awning outside of this window. Let me go ahead and hit that. Uh oh, I just hit all lights off again. Ha, sorry, Jody. Okay, back, and then let's do shades. So, your bedroom, and we'll do, all, there we go. So we're pulling all those up, and so you can see out here where we've got that awning all the way down, and I can change that pitch. So if it's blocking my view and I want to still have the protection, I can just bring it up a little bit. And um, I only, you know, Jeff Kiesel actually was the guy who mentioned that to me. He said, I wouldn't be able to look out my windows. I don't want awnings in the way. Um, and I thought that was a really nice feature. Um, and I had never really thought about it. So here's that place for your PlayStation. We're still looking at 43 inch 4K smart TVs here uh, at 50 inch in the front. You've got five drawers in here instead of six because you don't have that overhead capacity for your um, for your telematics. Two closets here. Now keep in mind, you're going, oh wow, that's just not as much space. Oh, hold on a second. Take a look at this. Man, talk about drawers. This is like a dream. Four, eight, 12 drawers. Look at the size of these drawers too. These are so nice. You could really keep like all of your shorts, all of your bathing suits, everything in there. And then you could even like have like her socks, her underwear, his socks, his underwear. Wait, that would be hers and that would be his because this has got more space. But I mean, how cool is that? And these are all full extension soft closed drawers. A ton of room for linens down below. But this is the coup d'etat, you guys. This is where it's all at. Look at you have a whole extra closet. Still have your safe. And then Jody, pan down. Show them inside that hole. Oh my gosh, how much stuff could you hide in there? You could be a full-time smuggler. It's so awesome. Just kidding. No one smuggle anything. That's a bad idea. Oh, the 4065 doesn't have this. That's a rope hook. Do you hear me, Ken Williamson? I need a rope hook, buddy. There's my mirror lights, I love these. Look at the size of this medicine cabinet, holy moly. And you'll notice all of this stuff uh, in the mountain air, or I'm sorry, in the supreme air, it's tile. Tile backed, linear drains, really fancy, same softer edges. Um, look at all this extra storage, oh my God, I love this. Uh, and then as aforementioned, um, more fancy, fantastic fan and look at all this room folks this is a luxurious potty space with your window right next to you and as i mentioned you got your day shade and your night shade deployed here and you can still open your window to get a little reprieve if necessary while you're in the office but take a look at this fully tiled shower um, so really similar size honestly um, but the big difference is you've got a lot bigger shelf over here underneath the rain head uh, you still have the same aquamizer system, but look at shampoo, conditioner, body wash, dispenser. Oh, the luxury. And then because this doesn't have the trifold, like little accordion door on it, you can have towel hooks on the outside of your door, which is really, really convenient. Um, so as I mentioned, there are benefits and disadvantages to both coaches. One of the nice features about this is in the mountain air, you would have had to step down right here. In the Supreme Air, this is a flat floor the whole way through. 
um, but really, really similar. Um, you still have these fantastic nightstands. You can run the cords through the top here, where with mine I have to unplug them and put them inside. Um, but overall, um, very similar accoutrement, super, super nice RV. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, if you want to have that full dinette, it comes with two 11 inch inserts, so that's 22 inches more table space and two extra chairs. Um, you still have your uh, washer and dryer by Slendeed. Uh, you don't have the drawer underneath for your, uh, for your, um, your detergent, but it's the same setup. It's separately stacked instead of stacked on top of each other. I mean, everything is just a little more uh, polished in this RV, but comparable to everything else in the marketplace. I mean, honestly, there's no manufacturer um, that does such a consistent level of quality year after year than um, the Numar. And they've got a recipe, you know, that three inch thick subfloor, um, that, you know, baking the floor on a table so that the grout is cured correctly and not being assembled down an assembly line. All of these things really set Numar apart from uh, the rest of the manufacturers out there. Um, and it's really important, don't overbuy. Get what you need. Um, and all of that being said, buy the right coach the first time. Call me, let me, let me poke holes in your, your thought process. Let me figure out um, things that you might not have thought about. Let me help you order exactly the right one instead of trying to sell you what I have right now. Um, let us get this right for you so that you can spend less money uh, in the overall experience because you got it right the first time because you had good counsel. Um, because that's, that's really what a professional uh, transaction looks like. It looks like something where you can really depend on the fact that you're going to get uh, counsel, not sold. Um, and I think that that's something that's brought me some great success in this industry. Um, as a consumer, when I came in here to buy my coach, we had a great selection. The guys were nice. Um, certainly was so impressed by our management team that I decided I could work here too. Um, but what I felt was lacking was I wanted someone to kind of challenge me and tell me, you know, what I need to think about, why I need to consider different products. And I ended up buying, a, you know, a new RV within 15 months um, of the first RV. And I got to tell you, it's not an inexpensive venture to make that mistake. Um, it worked out great for me. I loved the product I ended up with. It would have been nice to do it the first time through. Um, so like I said, you know, it's really important. Understand what you're spending money on before you assume you need to go to that top box. Um, again, with your 30,000 pound towing capacity versus your 20,000 pound towing capacity, is that a difference maker for you? Um, if it's about hill climbing, certainly you can get up a hill a little easier in a Supreme Air uh, than a Super C, but the difference is five miles an hour, folks. It's not like you're going to be going 85 miles an hour up a mountain pass with this thing anyway, nor down for that matter. Um, so, you know, today we're looking at two really fantastic RVs. Again, this is our Blanco. Uh, over here we have Hayworth. They're both beautiful. Uh, you can custom order your colors. Um, this is going to be stock number 5N231091. Again, this is 5N231091. Oh, and Jody, before we get going though, before we end this video, let's just show everybody what a DD13 looks like. That is the big dog. Now you'll notice that the M2112 chassis is quite a bit uh, larger in the front. That's because she's got a really beefy engine up front here. Um, and then you'll also notice that your jump points are on the opposite side of this coach. So if you watch a lot of my videos, I don't want you going there to jump your coach and thinking you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then, oh my gosh, let's go ahead and close this up. You can get this caliber nine grill uh, on both products. Andrew Lyons, our general manager, uh, you know, really helped to develop the Supreme Air and the Superstar product line. And he was really into making sure that all of our coaches had these C9s. When I started working here, uh, Supreme Airs didn't have them. And he went through and pulled all of them and, and put them on. Um, but you know, as I mentioned, this is a uh, stock number 5N230117. Again, 5N230117. Uh, we have a lot of really good product in inventory right now. 
Oh, we've got a fantastic team here at TransWest. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. You can always get a hold of me at 303-562-8659. Take a picture of this, call me, text me, email me, whatever's easiest. Uh, let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping and thank you for tuning in.